Hey everyone, Aaron Michael Pine here, and uh, in this video I want to talk to you about uh, working through or healing or letting go of depression, anxiety, uh, those two big challenges that uh, pretty much everyone faces to some extent, sometimes larger amounts and uh, more consistent or chronic, and sometimes just coming and going. And so from an energetic perspective, these are generally built up in our system because of different uh, experiences we've had, different programming we've been brought up with, whether it's our family or society. Uh, obviously, it can be uh, perpetuated by chemical imbalances in the system. Um, a lot of different things can contribute to those in different ways. So, of course, you've got to kind of explore different options and different things to see what's going on with you. Um, and obviously, checking with medical doctors and all that good stuff to see what's, what needs to happen for you. Uh, yet, however, I do want to share with you my experience working with those and helping individuals to clear the Alice system. So uh, I'm here, I'm just showing you off this beautiful tree. <laughs> if you haven't seen it in my other videos, I think it's my new spot. <laughs> this is my new favorite spot to come hang out, meditate, connect, and, uh, and, and do some videos, I think. This is this magic spot. So, um, and I love using it as an example because we are actually divine trees drawing forth solar light into our being, into our body, and rooting it down into the earth, down into our bodies, into our cells. So again, uh, depression, anxiety, I see those as uh, energetic discordances in our system uh, where there's things that have been uh, blocked up, almost like pipes that have been filled with gunk. And so what we have to do is go in and start clearing out what's holding us back. And so if you're familiar with the chakras or the meridians, this is the energetic structures, uh, just some of the basics of our energetic structures. And so what happens is through our life, through our experience, um, all the, the different things we pick up start to uh, modify, distort, and infect or interfere or uh, manipulate or break down those energetic pathways in our system, which makes it harder for our mind and our emotions and our body to work as they were designed to. We start to get um, uh, these sort of symptoms of depression, anxiety, and we can't get out of it. We become st almost stuck in these loops often, uh, particularly if you've experienced it at a chronic level. It's, it's stuck in your system, and there's, no matter what you do, sometimes it seems like you can't get out of it. And what happens is because there's actually these, these energetic breaks or disconnects or clogs in your system that are just there, and you haven't been able to navigate back into them to clear them out and repair them. It's very difficult particularly on your own. It's doable, it's definitely doable, um, but it can be very challenging. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that I can help you get in there and start opening that up. What we're doing is we're going into those areas that have had this constriction and start clearing that up energetically. I can see in an individual where they're at, where that's at. Um, not always, but oftentimes it's in the lower chakras, often down the solar plexus, the sacral, or the root, uh, the rooting of our, our being into the earth. Uh, often there's stuff in the heart there. Um, it can be other areas too, but those are more common for uh, depression and anxiety. And what we're doing is we're going in and clearing that stuff out and opening that up. We're opening up the root, we're connecting to our security, our safety of being. We're allowing our energetic spirit to stabilize. Uh, I can't just even saying it feels better. Stabilize into our body, into the earth. And that begins to calm the anxiety. We're plugging our system back into the earth and that calms down the anxiety. The anxiety is a lot of it's because we're not grounded into our bodies into the earth right so much traumatic experiences fear has uprooted us so we lose our our stabilization our focus our ability to be grounded and centered and calm within our body and with the earth and be tapped in and feeling uh re true reality around us we're ungrounded so we're in this sort of distorted uh shaky um reality experience almost if like you know when you plug in like electronic and then maybe it's still on and you pull it out and there's like that little spark. It's kind of like you're right in that halfway point. You're like sort of plugged in, but not really. And there's kind of spark shooting everywhere. And like the device is kind of working, but it's kind of fading in and out. I mean, almost the same principle. You're sort of plugged in, but not all the way. And you're kind of oh, shaky and, and anxious, right? And unstable. So as we ground, and just even if you're feeling it right now, just ground, right? Taking the, the nature here in the scene, you're grounding, rooting in like a tree to the earth. And that starts to calm the system down. And then we can start to open up the sacral, the joy centers, the creative centers, the um, life affirming centers in our body that we are here with a purpose. We're here for a reason. We're valuable. We're, 
we're miracles in itself. We are miracles of life existing in form. And that starts to open up the clear way the depression, right? Depression is often heavy and we feel down and we feel sad and despair and loss and grief and all those kind of things. So as we start to move that energy, we start to open up and we start to feel our life force, our vitality, the, the miracle, the magic that we are, the essence of who we are. And we can start to rise that up into the heart and feel the love and connection that our hearts are actually available for, that our hearts are designed for. Uh, our hearts to connect with ourselves, with the world, with the planet, with others. And this can start to really quickly shift those depression patterns, those anxiety patterns, moving us out of that old chronic state if we have anxiety or depression into more joyous, more connected, more happiness. And we can start to open up our systems and start to learn practices to keep us stabilized and grounded and connected. So that's a, a quick overview, right, of that to start getting you uh, aware of new possibility for yourself if that's something you've been experiencing. So I'd love for you to check out one of my free webinars or a healing session where we can go deeper and dive into that and really help you get that stuff out of your system because let me tell you, you don't need it. You're done with it. You are done with it, my friend. Uh, and I would love to be there to support you and help you access that and see what's been going on. And let's get that stuff out of you. Let's get that stuff out of you because you know what? I want you here in your full power, in your full glory, in your full joy because uh, I think we're all in this together. We're all connected and we're all in this life on this planet together and so i'd rather this place be filled with lots of happy joyous people rocking things and making a wonderful life and a wonderful world so reach out to me let me know if i can be of support and um, i do one-on-one -on -one sessions about an hour to hour and a half depending on what's going on where you can really dive in and clear some of that stuff and add some powerful work to so get that out of you and get you back into your your true alignment to turn you back into this glorious tree pulling down the solar light of your soul of your essence of your magic and uh, i would love 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 to be able to support you on that so reach out stay connected check me out subscribe below i've got more videos more healing stuff coming more spiritual wisdom to help you get back into your power uh, check out my courses all the good stuff uh, aaron michael pine pyne.com uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, the website, all the good stuff. So hope to see you. Stay connected. Sending you lots of love, lots of blessings, lots of magic. And I so appreciate you checking out the video. And until next time, have a great one.